Hello, everyone. I'm Karen Lobo, Director of Maintenance and Operations, and with me today is Todd McFerrin, Manager of the Electrical and Lighting Shops. Good morning. Todd will be the Implementation Project Manager for the Smart Sensor Project. Thanks to Connected Campuses grant, Facility Services will install 57 smart Samsara sensors on high value and critical equipment. These sensors function as early warning fault detection on critical equipment. And this is the gold standard in the maintenance industry. And we're very happy that we're moving in this direction and thankful to Connected Campus. Currently, Facility Services operates under a reactive maintenance model. We do perform some preventive maintenance, but it's not always driven by digital diagnostics. Rather, the maintenance is on preset schedules and visual inspections by mechanics. There can be inherent waste in this type of model because maintenance on equipment is performed either too frequently or infrequently. If it's too frequent, it leads to increased labor and material costs and unnecessary landfill waste. If it's not frequent enough, it can lead to equipment failure and business interruption and nobody's happy with that. So now I'm gonna turn it over to Todd for a real life example. Thank you, Karen. Currently, if a motor that supports a supply or exhaust fan fails, the process is as follows. Facilities is alerted of the problem and what building the problem is at. A mechanic responds to investigate the issue. If they find that a motor failed, they need to obtain a current quote from one of our vendors, then process it through procurement and wait for the motor to arrive, which usually takes several weeks. In the meantime, the building's air system is not balanced. This introduces different potential hazards, such as security risks from doors not closing, or sometimes animals need to be relocated. Karen will go into how our solution will change this. So we're partnering with Samsara sensors. They are non-invasive technology to help improve maintenance optimization. The sensors monitor and detect vibrations on large critical equipment. And if abnormal conditions occur, we'll send real-time alerts to facilities before the equipment fails. This will allow facility services to be proactive and we believe save the university money spent on unplanned maintenance and breakdowns, uh, equipment downtime, energy, and help with utilization of personnel more effectively. Todd's gonna to talk a little bit about the proposed locations and equipment. Thank you. We selected five buildings, Berkeley Way West, Chu Hall, Haas Business Faculty Wing, Likashing, and Northwest Animal. In most cases, we will install sensors on critical equipment where there is no redundancy, or if failure occurs, there would be a catastrophic impact to research. With, with pre-warning of potential failures on equipment, we now have time to order new equipment and schedule an outage with the department. We identified the critical equipment by working with shop managers, shop leads, and asset managers, Cherry Chung and Karen Larson. If this test pilot is successful, it will help to transform our maintenance model to a predictive one rather than reactive, saving thousands of dollars in overtime and unscheduled reactive repairs. We plan to have the system fully functioning by mid-February 2020. Here's Karen. If this test pilot project is successful, as Todd mentioned, it will help the campus avoid business interruption from failed equipment, lost research and unforeseen repairs and numerous other related costs. The pilot project will install, as I mentioned, wireless sensors on assets and will monitor and alert facilities when a component is likely to fail. Maintenance staff will then perform the appropriate procedures to avoid the catastrophic failure. We think this is the future because we will be able to monitor the health and performance of the equipment 24 seven without making a physical visit. This technology enables us to establish vibration thresholds for each piece of equipment monitored 
and receive real-time alerts when equipment deviates. The software will allow us to have custom dashboards, perform trend analysis, and set key performance indicators to give insights into bettering the efficiency and maintenance of equipment. We look forward to providing updates as we have signed a multi-year contract with the company, and uh, we thank you for your time. Thank you.